Welcome to Quantitative Reasoning Book 6, page 113. So here we have this row, X, and we'll label Y and Z. So we're going to look at this. So let's find 2. So to find 2 on this row, remember to subscribe to this channel. You have square root of 4 equals 2. So we're going to find the next find 4. Square root of 16 is 4. To find 6. That's 6. We're going to have square root of 36. We have 6. Okay, so we're going to move on about to the next column. So to find 4. So we're going to have 2 squared, which is 2 times 2. 4. So to find 16. We're going to have 4 squared, that's 4, which is 4 times 4, 16. So to find 36, we're going to do the same thing, 6 squared, that's 6 times 6, that's 36. All right, so we're done with X and Y. So we're going to go over to Z. So to find that number, we're going to consider the next number after the first uh, column X, All right? So if we have two there, what would be the next number after two is three. So we're going to multiply two by three. The next one there, you have 4. Whatever it is, you multiply. So, let's go. So, after 2 is 3. So, we're going to multiply 2 and 3. So, to find 6, we have 2 times 3 is 6. So, After 4, we have 5. So to find 20, we're going to have 4 times 5 is 20. So remember, you're going to use uh, transition, the next number uh, after the column, on the numbers on column X. So we have after 6 is 7, so we're going to multiply them. So to find 42, we're going to have 6 times 7, which is the next number after 6, is 42. Okay, so... That is it for this. Please, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please do well to subscribe for more quantitative reasoning solutions and problems 